generative AI is the new way of doing the machine learning today, right? And ChatGPT, DeepSeek AI, Blackbox AI, this kind of you know AI tooling, I think you guys are using quite often. At least I'm using almost every day. So today I'll show you that how uh, you can also use certain open source based large language model that you can install uh, as a as a Docker image, and you can start using it by creating certain containers. And you can access it from Postman or maybe some Node.js application or Python or whatever uh, way you wish to. So today I'll show in this video a certain step-by-step -step approach that how you can um, uh, do it overall, how it works that you'll see. So let's start. Now to, to get this uh, image to pull, start, go to the tag section and you can you know pull the latest one that you wish to. For example, the newest one is uh, one day before it's um, updated with a tag name called ROCM. And this is the respective uh, command uh, to pull this image, right? It's ending by colon ROCM. So that is the tagging that been used. So I have used this particular uh, command uh, to pull the image and that you can see in this Docker uh, software. And by the way, this is a prerequisite, of course, uh, this I'm using a Windows machine. So you need to have this Docker software installed as a prerequisite before you run this command, right? So if you go to the image section, this is what the image I downloaded. And the size it shows as 8.24 GB. Uh, whereas if you go to the Docker site, it gives you the compressed size as 1.32 GB, right? Quite different. Anyway, so once you download this, the image will be created of course and you can see over here uh, but this will not be green ticked because you need to attach a create a container out of right so to create the container you have to now run the different command let's let's see uh, what command it is uh, so this is my tutorial and i'll give all this uh, required uh, commands here like commands in the video description so if you wish you can you know follow along there and you can try in your system so this is what the command I ran to download this particular image having a tag of ROCM. As you can see, it starts downloading the image having a size of 1.32, um, 8381 GB, right? And then I'll run this command uh, to create the container and the port, which is the default port called 11434 that I have exposed with the same uh, port number so that I can access this particular uh, service out of the container as well. But make sure I need to uh, add this colon ROCM um, followed by so that it creates, it detects the particular uh, image and then it can start generating the container. So after the container creation is over, then you can run the container either by running this command called docker start hyphen AI uh, with this um, image name or simply go to the docker uh, container and uh, you can click on this button, toggle button is a start stop feature and you can see this particular content will be up and running. To check it is really working or not, there will be a port given 11434. You can see the if I hover, it gives the local host 11434. If I click on that, it will open this in local host um, fashion and it's giving that OLM is up and running. Pretty cool, right? So this is done. Uh, yeah, at least 70% is done. Why? Because the 30% is now we have to download the model that uh, I would like to run on this platform. So I am using, um, I prefer to download a model called LLM3 and that I am using in an interactive fashion, docker execute hyphen IT, it means interactive. And this is what the model now I would I used to run on this platform. And the first time I download, obviously it will download the model having additional size of around 5 GB, you can see. And that once it's download is over, you will get a prompt like success followed by this, you know, uh, kind of an arrow sign, uh, which gives the send a message and it's ready to accept your prompt. And I've given a very simple prompt that how are you? And it start giving a response like it's a language model. It doesn't have any emotions or any physical you know, sensation, which is pretty cool uh, to me at least, right? So how this is working all the way from your uh, personal machine, local computer, but within a Docker container. So let's uh, experience this a little bit now uh, because my container is up and running. Only thing is I have to uh, run this command so that I can access this model. It will not be downloaded now because I have already downloaded it. So let's run this command and let's see what it does. 
it just instantiate and once it is ready it will tell with a command hey okay, it is i'm ready to you know accept the messages so send a message i will say that what is the capital of india okay pretty cool it's answering this delhi which is fine our new delhi i want to say that i need some more information right and limit the response within 100 words now i didn't tell that i need the information about the capital of india but it still knows that the context is already set a chain of thoughts started working and it's you now giving more information about this capital of india and it will try to um, set the limit word limits within 100 uh, only right once it is done and yeah it's giving quite quite good like kutub minar india gate uh, presidential palace etc right museum theaters all right so and then it's ready to take up the next message uh, next prompt rather pretty cool right so now i would like to test this uh, from postman right let's see because it's, it's coming as a stream of information so if i just open postman what i have to give i have to give the api as localhost colon 1144 followed by api hyphen generate right because i'm generating the response so that is the endpoint i have to have this post as my http half and i'll give the body as a json you can see right and it's very simple that i'm telling that model is llm3 and the prompt is like create a hello world program in above right above programming language and i don't need any explanation because pretty simple hello world program i don't need any explanation i just generate it and let's see how it works so if i click on send and it start uh, setting the status as okay and voila it started giving me uh, the response in a chunk of information you see first it's starting with a back tick and then giving some new line uh, report is the syntax to start creating an ABAP program and it's giving z because it's expecting the program name should start with z uh, then hello uh, then uh, then you know uh, certain period sign it's giving and the new line starts and then it's giving the right uh, statement a colon and finally it's giving something you know um hello um world right so end of a hello type uh, comma then world by the way you have seen that the response is coming as a chunk of information not everything together right and a and a kind of a uh, the way we have just seen in the comment prompt uh, kind of a stream of information that way it is not coming it's coming up obviously uh, as a you know a piece of chunk information so what we'll do we'll create a node.js application now and we'll similar way we'll try to uh, create some more programming uh, with that application right so let's head over to our visual studio code and create a simple node.js application using axios to save some time i created this program pretty simple one uh, it starts with importing the axios because i have already installed the dependencies you can see in the package.json this is what I just uh, installed with an npm install command. And now I'm just giving the same URL as my uh, OLLMA API URL. Now the payload I framed like this, and while I'm passing the uh, uh, payload, I'm saying the stream should be uh, true, right? And now I'm telling the create an ABAP program uh, which can fetch data from uh, some table, uh, SAP standard table and display in ALP fashion but using this class called CLSALV and I need no additional functionality that is what I just wanted to make sure because so that the response will be pretty short and then I'm creating an asynchronous function uh, passing that axios post uh, function with the URL and the payload that just I framed above and I'm response time response type I'm telling again a streaming right it's an await function so I have to make this function as an async enabled then it's a chunk of information I said so response coming as a data dot on event the moment the as long as the data i'm receiving from this uh, api endpoint uh, that particular chunk information i'm capturing and parsing the json and removing any any kind of uh, empty or you know uh, trading spaces 
that I'm deleting, just getting the data. And then I'm just, you know, uh, putting it on the process standard output write kind of a function so that it gives me a real time response the way I'm receiving from my command prompt, the similar way kind of a thing I'll expect. And below, just a pretty much simple, you know, so the once the data is finished, means no more response there, uh, then I'm just setting up that message that the stream is ended. Okay. And below, you can see certain console log error handling. Uh, because I have put everything under a try catch block. Pretty simple, nothing much. So finally, I just need to call the function. So if I run with a command called uh, node index, so I'll be expecting some response. Let's see what it does. Excellent, it starts generating uh, with a class called CSLB table. And it's creating certain output, the method main. By the way, I, I don't know. It is yeah, taking the reference of that class, which is good. It took a standard table. Now fetching some uh, information from the Mara table as well as, uh, yeah. I think it doesn't have... Yeah, it's pretty cool it's working set screen pop-up i think a lot of extra thing it does which is not needed but anyway it's trying something good okay cool it's making a object oriented programming entirely because i mentioned something called class and that is actually creating an attention because it's an attention is everything in this generative ai right the moment is found a class it understood that i'm talking about to thought uh, talking about the object oriented pattern of design and hence it's built it up like this with a fashion right so if i put a function model kind of thing then it understood it's not required a uh, object oriented fashion it probably will be creating a procedural way of programming right so this is what it generates and also little bit explanation it's giving that's pretty fine i really liked it yeah it does the job pretty well uh, maybe certain uh, corrections uh, you would need sometimes if it uh, really not giving the result, ac accurate result that you're expecting. But it's pretty cool. I think uh, it has a good potential. And that's now I understand why there's so much of, you know, uh, stars and so much of downloads. Pretty cool. Okay, thanks for watching. I think you enjoyed this video. Uh, start sharing and sharing your feedback. Subscribe my channel if you want to see more kind of information about ACP related content, uh, which I upload quite frequent. And don't forget to hit the bell icon as it will intimate you the next time I upload a new content for you. See you soon in a new video. Till then, goodbye.